Hi, my name is Jan. Welcome to Butterfly Tracks. Today's tutorial is for anybody who has a car or a, some kind of rig with a hatchback. Could be an SUV or might be a minivan. And this, I, I searched a long time for a tent that would be easy for one person to put up alone. And all those poles getting tangled and all that, that it just didn't look appealing to me. So I found this marvelous little tail veil tent. I got it on Amazon and I will put a link below for the tail veil tent. Um, it's the simplest, easiest, most magical little tent you ever saw. So let's go to it. Okay, this is my new tail veil. And what we have here, this is a carrying case. There are the stakes in a little package there. That's the rain fly. And that's the tent. So we're going to open them up and show you what it looks like put together. Very simple. So to put it up, the first thing that I did was to lay out a tarp to go under the tent. Just to kind of protect the bottom a little bit. Next, I laid the tent out with the plastic side down and of course the screen side on the top. You'll know which side goes toward the car because it's got all this extra material and elastic and so forth. So you put that toward the back of the car where the hatch is, just like this. Next, you're going to look for the little bungee cord that has a black hook on it. And you're going to stretch that around and hook it to somewhere on your wheel. I'll show you a different angle. Here's that hook attached to the wheel, and that's going to tighten it up around the back. Going to put it on both sides, attached to the wheel. And that's what it'll look like when it's all nice and tight. Now it'll probably come up over your bumper. And if it does, all you have to do is slide it down onto the bumper like this so that it doesn't hinder your hatch from coming up. Next, you're going to throw that um, elastic part up over your hatch. The hatch is still down, you see. So it's covering the hatch like this, as far back as you can get it. And then you just open the hatch up and you have a tent. You could put stakes down if you wanted to, and that'd be fine. But if you didn't want to put the stakes down, or if you happen to be on concrete, you can put um, gallon jugs in the four corners to hold the tent out. The top of the tent comes over the back hatch window, which provides more shade underneath. And if the sun happens to be coming in one side, you can either use a sunshade like I did, attached to the hatch by some magnets or when you get the rain fly up you can arrange the rain fly different ways to provide shade on one side or the other there's the water jugs holding the tent down there's coco on a nice little cooling blanket and Susie. see they get to walk around and have fun and just be free for a little while Hi, Susie. I thought about having another table there, and it would have enough room for two chairs in here easily. Two chairs and two tables and two dogs with their cooling pad. So we're all just chilling here. This um, tail veil tent was $199 on Amazon, and I'm going to put a link below. I haven't done that before, but it is sometimes hard to find things, so I'm going to be nice. <laughs> and yes, I am an affiliate, so I get some tiny little thing if anybody happens to buy it. I'm going to start doing that in my videos, because some of the things that I have are, are a little hard to find. So that's going to take me a while. I have to figure out how to do it yet, but I want to start leaving some links to help you with your research. The tail veil tent, I love it. One last step I forgot to mention. There is this um, 
bug deterrent screen that comes out and it's attached by magnets. So now I'm going to put the rain fly on. Might even need it tonight. So here's the rain fly partially put on and you can see that there are clouds already building. It doesn't take but a minute or two to put it up all by yourself. It's attached by nice strong velcro to the screen room. Even though I didn't use the stakes on the screen room, I did use it on the rain fly. And the rain fly has openings on both sides, just like the screen room does. And you can fold them back just like this so that you get an airflow through. And that's on both sides, too. I did later decide to tuck the tarp in so that it didn't accumulate water, so that the rain fly was on the outside. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the tail veil tent and screen room. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your wonderful comments. Don't forget to put a like on it. See you next time. Bye.